Having had one of the highest infection rates in the country, if there's one thing authorities here in Calderdale have learned through this pandemic, it's the importance of focusing efforts locally to bring the rate down. So you're going to open up your swab. Is That's why as frontline workers, staff at this school in Halifax, along with a number of others, are trialling twice weekly lateral flow COVID tests. The tests give results in half an hour and are only 80% accurate, but the head teacher says they're reassuring for the whole community. Obviously it does mean for us that there could potentially be more bubble closures as we find out uh, more staff that are positive, but in the long run that will bring down transmission rates as we won't have staff in school that are positive in any way. While Calderdale remains in Tier 3, the infection rate is reducing, currently 159 per 100,000, down 12 in a week. The authorities here in Calderdale were sent 10,000 rapid lateral flow tests from central government and they've ordered 22,000 more to target high-risk groups in this community, as well as school staff, for example, bus and taxi drivers, driving instructors and those in high-risk manufacturing. The approach that we're taking in Calderdale is a, a test to find approach. So we're looking to find people that have got the virus but don't realise that they have. So it's in addition to the existing testing programme rather than instead of it. The borough has also set up its own local contact tracing system. Volunteers like Colin Hutchinson knock on doors to find those who need to isolate and can't be contacted through the national system. He says local knowledge is a huge advantage. The real purpose of contact tracing is to make sure that anyone who's posing a risk of infection is able to isolate and does so. And it's having that local connection, that investment in the local community that makes all the difference. Those in charge here say there's still too long a delay getting information from the national tracing system, but that's reducing. They're convinced local targeting is key to breaking the chain of infection and returning to some kind of normality. Catherine Jacob, 5 News, Calderdale.